is trading and making money. Mm. So this year has been a lot of disappoint, disappointing to people because several times they're like, oh, this has got to be the bottom. And then it yeah. falls another 20 percent. And then they're like, OK, but this is the bottom. And then it keeps plunging. Just from your sort of trader cap, what would be the types of things you'd watch for to say, OK, no, this is truly capitulation? Is it just uh, sort of indifference overall, like a sense that everyone is truly given up? We're t actually we're getting near signals like that now. The hour size are buried. The market's going straight down. The market's well below its 200-day average. You look on the chats, everybody's bearish. That's what you're looking for. It's, just, it's the wrong time of year. There's tax loss mm. and actually tax gain selling from last year that people didn't do yet. So I'm looking for those indications. And the opposite of what happened this year, when, like, when, when uh, we mentioned Ethereum, when Ethereum's main competitor, EOS, was launched, and we had that pump, yep. we had Bitcoin Cash pump, those kind of things you need to see the opposite when the market gets buried and looks oversold. It's just not there yet. Do you think there's any correlation between risk appetite and legacy markets like stocks and crypto? Oh, or completely. Is it I think people are missing that point. Last year was a key thing. The VIX was the lowest for longest ever at the same time, at almost within the same month, mm. that Bitcoin reached the highest forever. And guess what? We're just mean reverting right now. And the key level, if you look at means in like the S&P 500, it's 2,400, and the VIX is 1,500, market's coming back to that. To me, it's not as big as the housing market in 2008 when the VIX reached the cre previous low, but to me, that's a key thing that needs to be mentioned is this bubble we had is just bursting and it's happening everywhere in the stock market. And it's just indicative of what markets needed to do is mean revert and the VIX is just going back to its normal levels. So what happened to the diversified trade? What happened to this being separate in some way from this equity market? Do you see it as something very similar? Yeah, when risk so they make a great observation where uh, you can get crushed and that's happened to me. I uh, started buying this dip. I thought the dip was 12,000, 10,000. And, you know, I've preached dollar cost averaging and I'm trying to stay disciplined because the problem is, is it was easy for me to put in money back then. But now because I've invested so much money, it's hard, but I'm forcing myself to continue to still dollar cost average and to spread out my buys so that if these dips occur, which it, it keeps happening, you keep buying into it and then just having the discipline to know that I'm going to be holding this asset long term. Um, but there is some sentiment that the rebound will not happen for a while. And then some people think it's going to happen quickly. So my main goal is just to educate myself and to learn more about the market and uh, just to stay disciplined and uh, continue to buy these dips. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.